welcome to Roger Adventures. On this video, I'm gonna show you how I painted this funny chicken with the letters I seen it all, done it all, heard it all, I just can't remember it all. I tell you that I had a lot of fun doing this rock because I don't know, it's just funny <laughs> what you know the, the chicken is saying. Anyway, so I started by doing the drawing with the pencil, just a rough drawing, but if you notice the, uh, I don't know what they call the things that hang underneath the beak, I painted it a little bit uh, bigger. You will see it after I'm done with the rock. But uh, I don't know, maybe you have a different method of uh, painting rocks, but this is my method. So I actually did the background after I finished with the main painting, but it uses really, really simple. It just uses uh, the red, white, and black paint, but uh, I'm trying a different paint that I saw in Instagram. I saw uh, someone painting uh, on other rocks with the background using this, I think it's called color changing paint. I will put it on the description below and also I'll put all the tools that I use for my other paintings and art and crafts. I use the Posca pen. Uh, the reason I'm going uh, to the right is because I was actually trying to clean the, the tip of the pen with a piece of uh, paper towel, but the while I was cleaning it, all of the sudden the tip came off and then the ink uh, came from the front. So I don't know if that's how you refill them or not. Let me know if you have experience uh, refilling these Posca pens. Uh, I don't know, maybe that was all the ink that it had for the rest of the pen because I haven't used it a lot, but as I'm telling you, I pulled the tip out and two drops of the ink came out. So I wasn't, you know, priming the pen for the ink to come out. I was just using the paint that it was on the right side. I, I went back and forth because uh, first I started painting the red and then the white, but then I repainted the red to make it a little bit brighter. And at the end also I did the, uh, the bandana that is uh, on the head with white dots. If you have any questions or suggestions for this channel, let me know in the section below. Also, don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell so you can receive announcements on my next videos. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit of my story. I think I said it in another video, but back on the days when I was a little boy, I always wanted to be uh, an artist, especially on drawing. On the newspapers, they had an ad about people that wanted to start drawing. And what they were saying is, they give you an example and they ask you, can you please draw this and mail it into the school and we will tell you what we think. But of course, back then, uh, when I was a little kid, I, I I didn't know that it was just pure advertisement because I actually did the drawing, I mailed it in, and then they responded to me that I had won a half a scholarship, but it was really expensive. But since I, I was a little kid, my parents didn't have a lot of money, and I just couldn't continue, but my passion was always to paint or to make drawings and coloring, everything related to arts and craft. Uh, on the, at school too, when you had to go and do a project and do a presentation, I was always very shy. So I will always offer myself to do the drawings, the paintings, anything that had to do with making art or with your hands, coloring, painting, drawing, anything. So I always try to avoid speaking in public. So I have been always attracted to anything related to painting, drawing, art and crafts. 
I do a lot of art and craft with my wife too. My wife, uh, I help her with the art and craft and she helps me sometimes with my art and crafts. And if you want to check out her channel, her channel is called MX Tang, uh, but it's only in Spanish. Uh, as you can tell, English is my second language because I don't speak really, really well the English language but I think I make myself clear trying to express what I want to say and uh, let me know what you guys think about this rock if you liked it or not and what you would change on the lettering uh, leave it on the section below all right and I switch back and forth with a pen and the uh, paint brushes because uh, I thought that it looked nicer with the bigger lettering and it takes I think it takes longer to do with the pen since the pen is a fine point but I again I really love how the rock came out and this is where I was when I was telling you that I did white dots I just did it with the paint brush the tiny uh, paint brush and I finished the rock with the coat of resin. I will make a tutorial of the resin uh, probably in the future. All right, I hope you liked the video and I will see you on the next video. Have a great day.